Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Welcome back to The Wake Up Show. It's time for Extreme Science. I'm Corey Howard, Radical Rick, and Ping Pong Balls. Yes. That's here. where we're going to start our <laughs> science today. There we go. And we've got uh, some bottles here full of water. That one's almost all the way to the top. Let's go ahead and top that off just a little bit there. To the brim. Okay. Yes, right to the brim there. Okay. Now, we put a ping pong ball on top of there. Go ahead. You can put that on top, and it will float around in that water there. Now, when we turn it over, do you think the ping pong ball is going to hit first or the water? Well, yeah, the, the ping pong ball for sure, right? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Why didn't that? That ping water pong ball? should be shooting that out. What I happened? Know, right? Yeah, and even this one, look at that. The, the mouth on this one is even a lot larger than the ping pong ball. Right. Up here, it does taper down a little bit. But look at that. That ping pong ball is moving around up there. And even this one, it starts to pour out. But then as it does, it draws the ping pong ball up in there because that water <gasps> takes up space ah. just as air does. So in order for that water to come out, air has to go inside of there. Okay. So the air, the little pocket starts shooting up and it sucks the ball up, is that what you're saying? Yes, okay. yes, and right now there's 14.7 pounds of pressure all around us, so there is air pressure pushing this up too, but in order for that, yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> barely on there, but it's there. I know, right? So uh, how far do you think you can pull it off without it? I, what do you mean how far? Well, I think if I just take it a little bit, it'll, little it'll bit. all come out, right? Oh, you think, you, oh, there you go. You can put it right back on there, isn't oh. that cool? Yeah. Yeah, and that's because, yeah, when you take it off, see that air, We've got air bubbles going up in there, okay? But, yeah, you take it off, and then as soon as you put it back on there, now the air can't go back up in there to replace <laughs> the water that is coming out. Now, do you think that would work if you used a plastic bottle? Because both of those are glass. Oh, uh, yeah. you know, Rick, it hadn't even occurred to me to think that, but I'm glad well. you brought it up. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay, same oh. thing. We can put it right on top. Go ahead and turn it over. Ah, and ah. it does work, but... So does it, why, okay, what's kay. the difference then? <laughs> well, what if you squeeze it a little bit? Ah. If you squeeze it, now you can squeeze some, yeah, <laughs> if you squeeze too far, like this one here, we can squeeze it a little bit and have okay. some of that water still coming out because the surface tension of the water is still holding that ping pong ball up there. Okay, but yeah, <laughs> squeeze it too far. And <laughs> so it's best to use a glass bottle like one of these frappuccino bottles or something. Uh, yeah. yeah, use a glass bottle because if you do turn it over and you squeeze a little bit, it's going to mess up your experiment. Now, do you think that would also work with a playing card instead of a ping pong ball? I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, Rick. I think you you wouldn't have brought playing okay. cards if, if it wouldn't well, work. Well, that one has, has a hole in it. Don't, don't, put the, yeah, don't put the hole over it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so do you think I can just turn it over and... Well, no, because the card will... <laughs> you know, I think you have to hold it in place. Exactly. Think, yeah. Ah, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Not, gonna... <laughs> not so sure of yourself now, are you, Rick, huh? <laughs> yeah, I pulled away a little bit too soon. <laughs> okay. You're very okay. sure this is going to work, though, still, yeah? Oh, yeah. Watch okay. this. There we go. <laughs> so at what, at what point is that object too heavy? Because we have light ping pong balls. We have a playing card. Like, uh, did you bring anything else that we could... No, I thought about it, but, and I'm glad you asked that, because we didn't even talk about that beforehand. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I was going to bring that up. Try different things, like uh, a steel marble or something. A golf ball wouldn't work because of the little the dimples. Yeah, the dimples, very yeah. good. Yeah, because it's going to let air in there. Well, to an extent. Depends on how big the ridges are. Try a golf ball and see. Just try because to put uh, things yeah. on water bottles and yeah. see if they'll stay there. Yeah, and also see how much, different. how little of water you can get in there and have it still hold. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, that's, that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Go, uh, go uh, have fun with water bottles and ping pong balls and try different things today. Yep. Uh, all right. Clean up your mess afterwards. Clean up your mess. Yeah, it's good to have a bucket here. Yeah. All right, that's it for Extreme Science this morning. Plenty more to come here on The Wake Up Show. Stick around, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.